Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today's gonna to be a little different. We're not breaking stuff, we're not demoing products. Today we're gonna to talk about spear speed. Over the years, I've done many, many pool trials. Some of it's been shown in previous videos. And what I used to experiment with was how good the penetration was. I used to fire spears into a large rubber block. And uh, after several shots, I would then get an average of the penetration. We then change the setup and try again and try again. And we always got to a point where we could never make the spear penetrate more than a, a specific distance. No matter how much I powered up the gun, nothing would change except the recoil and the accuracy would often go off. So prior to that, I'd also heard on spear forums, spear gun forums, where certain guys, engineers as such, had also found similar scenarios where they couldn't get the shafts to go any faster. It always struck me as strange, how come this is a problem? And this problem showed itself in the penetration as well. No matter how much I powered up the gun, there was a max penetration I could get. So recently we've been doing more and more pool testing where we now using better camera equipment and we're actually trying to work out exactly the speed of the spear. And we're getting the same results. We can speed the spear up to a certain point and no further. We then did a lot of research and the research was more now about what is propelling the spear and that is the latex rubber. The purer the latex, the better is elasticity. And we found that latex rubber has a maximum recoil speed. So no matter what you do, you cannot get it to go faster than a certain speed. If you have a single rubber and you're driving the spear, if you shorten this enough, you can get your spear to maximum speed depending on the lightness of the spear and your setup. If you manage to get the spear to maximum speed with the setup you've got, and you put an additional rubber or a third rubber, you cannot get that spear to go any faster, but you'd get it up to maximum speed sooner. So this was an interesting phenomenon. It's something we've now been doing a lot of pool testing about, and most of that is about to get the correct balance. With our Timberline now enabling us to balance them with additional lead and to dampen the recoil, we can now calculate exactly what we need in terms of mass and buoyancy and lead needed for different setups. So this is very important for the gun to feel good in the user's hand. Our standard guns, we found are actually very close to maximum speed. So by trying to make them go faster, it's not benefiting anyone. The only ad, uh, negative you're having is it gets to speed sooner and it recalls much harder. That creates sore risks for one and or inaccuracies because everything's kicking. Um, the spear itself will oscillate if you power it up too much. That oscillation itself will interfere with the velocity of the speed and the penetration. So guys, keep a lookout for our next video. It's not going to be soon, but we will now show you exact results from in pool testing with targets and camera footage. Hope you enjoyed that discussion and please make comments. Um, this is how we learn and you guys will learn. Tell us what you need to know. We'll go out there and test it. Hope you enjoyed that one.